I mean, don't ever forget that. We're down eight at the half and having to fight and claw just to get back into the game. Talk about your team's overall performance. Uh, very uh, thankful these guys are on our team. Glad they played for JU. Uh, they did fight, just like you said. Just good, uh, good basketball. Again, both teams were fighting. I thought we never quit. Uh, yesterday, we were tired. The guys were tired. Uh, yeah, there was a deficit, but I thought these guys definitely fought together. Coach, with J.U. winning a game by the score of 99 to 92, you would think offense, offense, offense. But I want to take you back. Your defensive basketball team, at the end of the first overtime, we had to fight off the final 11 seconds. That's all they had the basketball, and we did that. At the end of the second overtime, Coach, your basketball team defensively had to fight off the final 26 seconds. We did that. Defense, not only had you got points on the board, but defense really Led the way for this comeback I think win. we got stops at the appropriate time. I'm not sure if we played the best of defense uh, throughout the game. As you mentioned, we did play the minus so much more disappointed with that. But again, very thankful. I'm glad these guys are on our team. They fight every day, tooth and nail. Uh, they, this just shows you, hey, if you just keep fighting and listening to the game plan, uh, you can win basketball. Games. I thought we did. Coach, your junior, Keith McDougall, from right here at Jacksonville Bishop Kitty High School, has a monster game, 25 points. 13 rebounds and a Houdini like effort playing with four fouls for what seemed like an eternity. Talk about McGoogle. Yeah, I, I'll talk about Keith, but again, another local young man, Chris Burley. Sure. He was, for us. he was dynamite defensively. I thought he had some great stops uh, and gave Keith a breather on defense. So I thought he was dynamite coming off the bench. But like you said, Keith, yeoman like work tonight. Very proud, very thankful he's on the team. And, and of course, Chris Sterling gets a huge assist, keeping Keith McDougal in the game. You had to play the defense off. Offense with Keith playing with four fouls, coach, with what seemed like, as I said, an eternity. Dolphins scored 99 points, coach McDougal leading the way 25 and 13. Two other players had double doubles as well. Glenn Powell, 16 points, 11 rebounds, a beautiful design play to him late in the third overtime. Cordario Fleming, 10 points, 11 rebounds. Two monster blocks. Sure. He controlled both of those blocks. I don't remember what overtime or what in the regulation it was. The game lasted but three players in double figures for the Dolphins. Uh, again, all those guys contributed. We probably played some, some of those guys a little bit too many minutes early. Uh, again, but uh, I'm just very happy these guys uh, pulled out the win tonight. Uh, like I said, now we got to get some rest. We got to get some fluids in them. Uh, we got to bounce back and play. Coach, you preach to me all the time. Uh, a win counts for one win, a loss counts for one loss. It took triple overtime. What can this game do for the psyche, the overall spirit for the JU basketball team heading into Saturday's game, 315 right here in the arena against the Mercer? Well, the first thing that the guys said, I didn't have to say a word uh, in, in the locker room. They said, hey, we got to believe in each other. We can win games that are close. We can win games even being, being down two points, five points, and as you mentioned, eight points. So I think our guys understand that we just believe in each other. We continue to follow the scout report. Uh, we can win the game. Your senior, I'll, I'll let you go on this. I know you're exhausted as well. Your senior point guard, Russell Powell, laid in this ball game a drive down the right baseline, laid it up, quick timeout. He scored the basket. Russell looked like a prize fighter in about round 14 or 15. Your entire team was exhausted. Their team was exhausted. Have you ever been around a game where two teams had I've absolutely spent just about all the energy they had. Uh, again, not like this, not like this one, not as a head coach. So again, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, these guys getting back and getting some rest. Coach, go enjoy it, and guess what? We do it again Saturday at 3:15, Mercer's in town. Thank you. Good win, Coach. That's Coach Cliff Warren on the Baptist Health System.